Thank you, Frankie. First up, we have Myanmar versus India. Hello, everyone. My project on Beauty with a Purpose is called Education is Important. I contributed to this project because I believe in Nelson Mandela's quote, education is the most powerful weapon that can be used to change the world. What do we mean by education? Do we mean that we need to have a college degree or diplomas on the wall? But it would be like impact, impractical for me to say that everyone should be a college graduate. And I believe that the kind of education that we should promote and advocate is one's passion to learn. And another important factor is that literacy is very important. Literacy can change a life. For example, a simple knowledge from a woman, from a mom, to a children by just reading off a WHO brochure and can save a child's life. And it is very important to have people and to have someone to be there because formal education is very hard to get in some societies. And that is why I want to say that my beauty with a purpose is very greatly important and have to be promoted and need the help of the community as well. And education is practical and can leave a change and can make a better world for everyone. Thank you. Every two seconds, a child is being shunned. Every 14 seconds, a child is being orphaned due to HIV. In a country of over a billion people, millions remain invisible, particularly children. They are being abandoned, but they're not alone. Through my project, I chose to stand with those who are being neglected by the society, who are the children with AIDS and transgenders. Why is my project important? There are over 400 million abandoned children and 400,000 transgenders who do not know where their next meal is going to be. And through sustained efforts, I have been able to educate 200 girls, give shelter to 22 boys and employment to 30 transgenders, where employment, education and shelter is not a luxury but a necessity. And this project is close to my heart because I have been in the shoes of an abandoned child when my father walked out of the house. But I had my mother to motivate me and guide me. And here I am as Miss India World 2018. And why not we become that one person in others' life who can give wings to their dreams? So I ask you all to join with me so we can make this 200 to 2 million. I strive my today so others can have a beautiful tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Very well spoken from both of you. Over to you, Frankie. Thank you so much, Barney. I know the judges are going to have a tough decision because both ladies were so eloquent and well spoken, but they have to make a decision, and we're going to start off with Stephanie. As Frankie said, you both did very well, but I have to give this vote to Myanmar. I, as a person who's not senior projects, I can, I can relate, and well done to both of you, but my vote would go to India. Tiebreaker once again for me, but you guys did very well, and my vote goes to India. Congratulations, India, you have made the Miss World Final 30. I'm really honored because this is something really close to my heart and which I really feel emotional about that I've shared and I'm so happy. Thank you so much. And of course, commiserations, Myanmar, but you were very well spoken. Congratulations to you as well. Thank you so much. I'm really grateful that I could share a story with you guys. Thank you, ladies.